Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Uh, it is February 19th. It is 5.13 in the afternoon. I am sick. Oh, man, am I sick. I know in the comment section when I could, I could just barely glance at them. One of y'all said, yeah, I hope you're not sick after you my last trip. Yep, yep, I didn't, I... I thought I moved fast enough wearing a mask, but I guess I wasn't. Um, so, uh, to start this little conversation with you, I just wanted to make a, a follow-up to yesterday's video and maybe talk a little bit about uh, the process of being sick uh, as a flight attendant in the States, in the United States. I'm not sure what the situations are in, in South Africa or in Switzerland, for example. But, so, uh, first off, uh, I'm frustrated, um, almost angry, but I'm really trying to be mature. I'm trying. It's not, it's not always working, but I'm frustrated that my coworker came to work sick. Now, it's not the first time that's happened because as a flight attendant, everybody eventually flies sick. So it's impossible really to judge anybody and think that they're just being a bad person. Everybody eventually flies sick. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. Uh, in the United States, we have, um, most airlines have a, uh, a system that feels more like a, a penalizing one where you get point, excuse me, I'm trying not to cough, you get points, um, for, uh, each sick instance. In my company, if you're a line holder, uh, you get two points if you call out more than two hours before your, the start of your pairing. If you call out with less than two hours, you get three points. If you call out during your pairing, you get three points. Uh, if you are a res uh, if you're on probation, those points are doubled. With me and my airline, we can have up to twelve points, and this is most airlines in the states, not just my airline. Uh, you can get about twelve points before things start getting serious. <coughs> If you have a chronic illness or family who has a chronic illness, you can sign up for FMLA, which is Family Medical Leave Act or something. I don't know. Uh, so if I had a chronic illness that kept me out of work, um, I it wouldn't pay protect me for my trips, but it, I wouldn't get the points necessarily always. But um, I don't have a chronic illness, and I don't I don't like the idea of signing up for FMLA when I'm not, I don't, I don't have a chronic illness. I feel like I would be misusing the, the, the tool, you know, uh, fraudulently, honestly, is what I would, I would, I would call it. Um, but, uh, if you're on probation, all those points are doubled. So it can be serious. Uh, those points. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what my coworker's story was. I'm not sure if she's close to lose, you know, close to 12 points or whatnot or what, I don't know. But um, everybody eventually flies sick. So it's not like I, I don't hate her because of it. I'm just very frustrated because I'm sick. And it's affecting me physically, psychologically, <clears throat> and financially. So um, I called out sick um, for my pairing that starts tomorrow night because there's no way in hell that I will be able to go to work and not get other people sick. Um, let me blow my nose. Hold on one sec. I'm very loud when blowing my nose. Ask my friend Marcus. Every time I blow my nose around him, he's like, oh, you have to make so much noise? Yeah. Uh, and then I have to mop up my mustache. <laughs> Aren't I? <coughs> Aren't I sexy? Um, so, um, what was I telling you? I forgot what I was telling you. What was I saying? Uh, but, um, yeah, so. <coughs> uh, what was I telling you? Oh, hold on. So I think I was telling you about how this trip will affect me physically, you know, just emotionally and then financially. I'm sick, sick, sick. I hate being sick. I just hate who likes to be sick. I don't. Although I have a feeling I'm going to lose weight, which is very nice. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday early afternoon in Dallas. And I haven't had any fluids, which I'm going to fix shortly. I just haven't had the energy to get out of bed. 
Uh, but uh, financially, you know, I'm going to be pay protected for this trip. Um, so the 15 hours credit for the trip, I will receive credit for that. I have sick hours for this reason. Uh, but I'm going to lose per diem. And this trip is probably 65 hours long away from base. And I get $2.83, $2.85 per hour for per diem. We, ha we have good per diem. And that adds up. So that's, that's a fair amount of money to take out of my pocket because someone was sick and had to come to work, you know? So it's just frustrating. Um, so yesterday I said bye to you at the airport because I was already feeling ill. I mistook it for just being fatigued, but I was already starting to feel bad because when I got home, I gave the cat some treats. Turns out it was the last treats that I had in the house. Uh, and then um, I just took my clothes off and crawled into bed. I did not get out of bed until probably 22 hours later. Uh, I did not have the energy to get out of uh, bed. I did get up to use the bathroom a couple times. Uh, but I, I just could not bring myself to climb downstairs, get water or whatever. Literally just could not do anything other than crawl to the bathroom, pee, get back in bed and cuddle with the cats. Um... When I, um, you know, because this lung isn't much of a team player. I'm not sure if I already told you this, but, you know, I was stabbed in the chest in my left lung back in 2007. So it's not much of a team player. There's a lot of scar tissue there. Uh, so when I get this sick, I get this wheezy, whistling, burring noise sometimes right here. And I can't sleep when I'm making that noise. When it's whistling, I just can't. There's no way I can sleep. So I'm coughing, trying to clear that obstacle. And, and uh, it's just awful. It's awful. But So I napped on and off for 22 hours. Um, but I need to get out uh, to... I'm at Walmart in the parking lot now trying to get some soup, some juice, and some cat treats because I'm out. Um, and... Um, that can't happen. So I do have a mask. So when I walk into the store, I can use my PPE and just try to stay away from people because I don't want to get anybody sick. Not with this because it's awful. I just feel like there's this giant rubber band just con constricting my skull. I have to get some cold medication as well, too. I just forgot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to stop in, say hi. Uh, some of you did, uh, did, um, guess I might get sick after this trip and I, I did. Uh, oh, something else I wanted to address was, um, I don't know if more than one person said it, but they were like, Hey, you know, silver lining, you only had to work three legs out of a three day trip and you spent 30 some odd hours at home with your cat. So that's good, right? Well, yeah, if we didn't have to face the rest of that, like, uh, I don't know, it was very frustrating. That that whole trip was very frustrating. Uh, uh, the first day of the trip was just incredibly frustrating because we disappointed a bunch of people. Those passengers, most of them, were connecting through Las Vegas to other destinations. A lot of them had flights to, to catch, and most of them missed those flights. I don't know what our agents are willing or able to do and how much love they're able to show these passengers um, and to, you know, to um, get them on their way. But um, I've heard horror stories, so I don't know. I don't know if these people were treated with the respect that they deserve. We have some great gate agents, but there's always one or two that... Same thing with flight attendants. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Um, and, um, a lot of them had tickets to shows in Vegas and, uh, could not make their show and they spent hundreds, uh, and some of them got hotel rooms and all sorts of stuff around a show. Cause how could a one hour flight be complicated? Right? So we disappointed a bunch of people. And then the deplaning de and the reboarding was frustrating. Plus, um, the, the, the really, the lack of communication 
with the airline because they're trying, they're playing chess basically, trying to best use their resources to get us where we have to be. And so every 20 minutes we seem to have a conflicting um, email sent to us. I don't know, but um, it was very frustrating. Uh, the time off at home with my cats was an, un, a surprise luxury, but then the third day was incredibly frustrating having to leave the house, um, so early in the morning, which is awkward for me. Uh, and then, um, deadheading, sitting for five hours at the airport, which is exhausting. And then to work that one leg back, it just seemed ridiculous. It just seemed ridiculous. Um, and by the end of the day, again, I thought I was just tired. No, I was I was starting to have symptoms for whatever I have right now. So blah, blah, blah. So I need to go in. That's why it was frustrating. That was why, that's why the trip was so difficult. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of work involved with the trip, but there was a lot of disappointment, uncertainty, and so I'm going to go into Walmart and um, buy some cold medication, some cat treats, um, kitty litter, water, juice, soup, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much for putting up with my misery for the past 12 minutes, whatever it is. I will see you later. All right. Fly safe.